Hello and welcome to Dr. Malpani's YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you can be notified about new videos. If your IVF lab transfers embryos on day 2 or day 3, this is a red flag and suggests the lab is incompetent and doesn't have confidence in its ability to grow embryos in vitro. Embryologists scare patients by saying keeping embryos for two more days in the lab is risky. When there are only a few embryos, growing them to blastocysts may be suicidal as none of them may survive. The truth is that embryos don't and can't commit suicide. It's the poor conditions in a bad lab which kills them. These labs can't grow embryos well in their incubator. Now, if they can't grow them well to day 5, then it's highly likely that when they grow them to day 3, these embryos are already compromised because of poor culture conditions and are unlikely to implant. However, if they don't implant after the transfer, the clinic can blame the patient for the failed implantation and thus pass the buck. Don't let the IVF clinic bully you. Yes, there is a risk that may arrest in vitro and you may not end up with an embryo to transfer. But it's best to know this in advance rather than spend the two-week wait in pointless suspense. More importantly, it will tell you that the IVF clinic you chose was incompetent and you can then spend time finding a better clinic. And it's true that some day 3 embryos do implant and it's also true that not every blastocyst is going to implant but the probability of a blastocyst implanting is much higher. Doesn't it make sense to maximize your chances rather than reduce them because the lab is incompetent and doesn't have any confidence in its skills to culture embryos to day 5, something which all good labs do routinely. Do you need help in getting pregnant? Please send us your medical details by filling in the form at www.drmalpani.com.